Hi DJ Tech Tools, in this video I'm going to show you the latest version of my DDJ1000 mapping for Tractor Pro 3. It also works on Tractor Pro 2 and this builds on top of the last version that added the support for the screens. As you know with the third party uh, MIDI translator called BOM. So here on this uh, version besides a lot of bug fixes, Thanks for reporting them, keep on going, because I, I really want to get this mapping really perfect. The, the new features are by far here. The loop setting was, was made from scratch and now it matches exactly what, uh, how the CDJ work. Uh, the, the same look and feel as the CDJs, because now the, the LEDs blink, telling you what to do. On the search buttons you have now a big jump, including a move move you by one bit, bit jump and loop move. On the keyboard you have now uh, three types of keyboard, key shifts, which I'm going to show later. On the Pad FX2 you have now manual loop, manual loops and manual uh, bit jumps, very easy to use. And on the bin sync there is now two types of uh, bit sync. The default is tractor, which is toggle, and with a key, com key combination you can change this to Serato style where it's just phase sync. That one matches better uh, tempo, tempo sync. I'm going to show all these in, in a moment. So first uh, a small demo, first on the, on the screen there was several bug fixes. The, there were several bug fixes especially here on the BPM. And the story is as long as you have enough range uh, in my tests, this matches even with Cinco on the two decks as I go left and left and right. Um, on the on the needle, now it goes back, and when you press Hot Q, when you press Hot Q, you go um, it goes to the beginning. On the time, uh, this is by far the hardest thing. To put to work because of tractor limitations. Uh, when the time is not good, for now, press, sh press shift and quantize. That resets the whole screens and measures this, tries to measure this again, and it's your best uh, way at the moment. So, for the loops, they now work like the CDJs, let me show you. So you can do the auto loop as before, but now it blinks just like the CDJs. And when it's blinking, you can adjust the size, just like record box. If you go too little, you just correct it. And the new thing is that if you press shift and in, you are now doing in adjust of the whole loop, which is really useful in this example, in this music style, where the bit grids are not good. Then to exit, you press exit this mode, you press exit. Now it's again the original situation. And now if you press shift and out, you adjust only the out, po out point. If you press memory shift and in, now you adjust only the in point. And using these you can basically do perfect loops, even without bit grids. Exit as normal. Uh, also as, um, as requested, uh, shift active loop is now works again and if you want to do manual loops you can do it memory so with these you can select the size I'm going to do a 8, eight bar and now with memory loop it doesn't do 4 bits but there's a larger one why is this useful uh, the, the default however is 4 bits always because imagine that you have a very small value because of a roll or something 
Doing this will create a very short loop. Doing this moves you to four. So that's it for the loops. Now I'm going to go to the uh, um, search. So when you press uh, the, the buttons, it, you select the size, for example, eight bars, eight, eight bits. And then with shift, it does a bit jump of the, the size you choose. If you want more, you stop pressing shift and now you go 16 by 16. Really convenient. And on the same workflow, if you press memory, it does just one bit, which is really useful when you release the other track just one bit before. Notice that if a loop is enabled, then it moves the loop instead. That is for the this section. Now on the keyboard, you access the keyboard by going with Shift Q. Now in, in the keyboard, this was already the case before. But now what's new is if you press Shift, you have three modes. The first mode is Cup, Q and Play. So it always goes to the beginning and keeps on going. Before I forget, key reset is now key reset. So it's your escape when the sound when the track is sounding bad. Uh, this is for the cup mode. The next mode is Q, which is like gate. This is not useful in this, in this example like this, but now imagine that you have here rhythm and you have here a piano, for example, just one note, ding, dong, ding. Let's put this together. Ah, you, have, you want to disable sync? For the next mode, it's uh, play, so it doesn't have the cue and it just changes the key as the track goes. So it is three different modes for the keyboard. The next topic is here the manual bits, uh, the manual uh, jumps and uh, loops. We have two pages, quite colorful, no, not this one, like this. So here you move by one bit, this is four, eight, left, right, 16. So this is an alternative to this one, if, it, uh, if you prefer that one. On the right, you have this mode, this is auto loops, this is 4, 8, 16, 32. If you press again, it enables and disables. This is 2, 1, half. Okay. This is for the manual uh, uh, jumps and uh, loops. Now about the bit sync, let me get something here on the other. So I'm going to show, this is in a loop, I'm going to show the behavior of this guy. Here, this is tractor style, on, off, this is the default. If you press shift memory and bit, bit sync itself, now it's different, now it's serato style. What's the difference? When you press, it's always on, unless you turn it off, and when you press, it corrects whatever um, sh uh, uh, phase it accumulates. This example is very exaggerated because I, 
I changed the big grids on purpose to, sh to show the previous uh, demonstration. So the point is, when I press this, it gets to zero, always. And this is really useful when some parts of the bit, the bit grid are good. Do note that the other features are the same for both uh, cases. So Shift Bit Sync is master. And now I'm just changing between these two guys. And Memory Bit Sync is Sync Off. Always. So this is the way. This is the way to this. This enables mo sync. This disable sync. In Serato mode, if you are in tractor mode, now it's toggle. But if you want, it's the same. So it's quite simple. Only the normal, the simple usage of of the button changes. The other two functions, which is master and off, are constant. The last feature of the mapping is the jog ring. So it shows you if the deck is on. And it also shows you if the track is ending. This is again just like the CDJs. So if you are at the end of the track, it starts blinking. And now it will start blinking faster as time is ending. 9 seconds, and at the very, very end, it's going to blink dramatically because <laughs> the track is over. If you go to the beginning, it's fine. Not if you have the jog effects, it also blinks because now, to tell you, to tell you that the jog is used. is used for the, the jog effects. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please send any feedback, any, any ideas for the features that you are missing, any bug reports, and uh, enjoy the mapping. Cheers.